using their web station application that they have. And we're going to put an HTML website on there. So we're going to get a sample template, put it on our Synology NAS, and then get it accessible from the outside. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is log in your Synology, head to Package Center, type into the search bar, Web Station, and it should be the first one to pop up. And let's click Install. It should uh, install briefly. So what it's going to do is install its um, packages and everything it needs, as well as create a shared folder called web. So let's get this started. And there we go. It's already finished. Let's click open. So now web station is open. We can see that our server status is normal, personal website status disabled, and virtual host is nothing there. We have nginx installed. If you guys want Apache and the PHP uh, configurations, you guys can get that from the package center. I'm going to go ahead and head down here. And this is where you can select uh, Apache or PHP. We're just going to use the basic configuration here. Of course, there's extra PHP configurations you can have here as well, and the virtual host. So from here, let's go ahead and create a virtual host. This name is going to be site.techcoreduo.com. I'm going to leave it as port 80 and 443. It is asking for a document root. I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to go to web and I'm just going to install the HTML files under web. I'm going to use that as my root. If you wanted to and have multiple um, web servers here, you can install different um, levels of the root here as well. So I'm just going to use web, click on select and then click OK. So now we have that running. And if we go to the IP address of our Synology, it's going to bring us to WebStation has been enabled. So from here, we want to add a website to this. So let's go to um, just a free website, templated.co. I'm going to click on the download button here for this industrious website. It looks pretty cool. Click on download. And download once more at the top. There we go. And so there it is for us. I'm going to just open up my downloads here. And you can see I have templated there. I'm going to extract the files. And it's going to give me all of the information for this website. This is all of the files that create the website itself. And of course, if you're good with HTML, which I would assume you are since you're putting this together, you can go in here and edit all these files to set your website up the way you want. I'm going to right click and copy. Now, because our Synology made a share for us, we can just go to our Synology. The folder is called web. Double click on that. These are the default images that come with the Synology. With WebStation, you can go ahead and delete it. Right click and paste. Now that we have that pasted, that should be all we need to get our website going. So I can minimize this. Head back to our, our uh, Synology here. And we could restart it if we wanted to, but I believe this should, um, this should work right off the bat. So let me head back to our IP address here, hit enter, and there we go. So we now have this website built and hosted off of our Synology. I can click on the menu, I can click on generic, and this is all of course just fake letters just for the template. I can head over to elements and it kind of gives you some more information here as to how to design and set up this website if you use it, this template. So now we want to make this successful from the outside. Let's head over to our router. I'm going to type in my password here, head over to port forwarding. And from here, I can easily just make an HTTP service pointed to my Synology and click add. So now I have this HTTP service for 80 added. If you want to do 443, you can do that as well. That would be, um, it's not under here under my um, quick services, but I can add a custom service for that as well. And I'm sure you guys can do that. All the routers are essentially the same depending on what kind of router you're using, but it should be fairly straightforward. So cancel out of this. All right, so from here, you can go to your 
domain registrar, either where, whether it's a free one or it's the one you pay for, and you can add your IP address in here. So if you scroll down, you can see your custom resource records. You can add in the, the site. So I have a subdomain, so it's site.techorduo.com. So I'll put that in there. You would just leave this part empty or add the www, uh, and then you would add your external IP address. I already have it added to the, my external IP address and I can access it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to a new tab. I'm going to type in the website and hit enter. And here we are. So we just connected. It is not secure as it does not have any uh, certs on it, but this is our website. We built this in just a few minutes and it was pretty straightforward. Uh, then from here, go ahead and edit your index files, your HTML files, and anything that you want to customize this the way you guys want it to be. All right, guys, so that sums up today's video. Hopefully that was informative for you. If you guys can, like and subscribe. That definitely helps us get more content out for you guys. Um, please leave any questions you have in the comments, and we'll be there to answer them. And take care.